hi guys welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new without further ado let's go ahead and get straight into today's video so for today we are finally going to be doing the q a that i have been talking about for like three months now i don't really have a reason for it taking so long i just kind of wanted to make sure that i was mentally prepared for this but yeah that's what we're going to be doing today so to start off today's video i'm going to go ahead and prep my nails really quickly as you can see they're not too bad because i just did them like a few days ago i'm really just going to make sure that my cuticles are nice and pushed back and i got up all of the dead skin and like excess gel so i'm first just going to go ahead and with this cuticle pusher and then i'm going to use this side to get up any extra product from around my cuticles Now I'm going to go in with this cuticle bit just to further lift up the cuticle. And while I'm doing this, I am making sure to hold it parallel to my nail beds. I don't want to hold it too much at an angle because I'm not trying to create like any divots or dents in my nails. And now I'm going to go in with my cuticle nippers just to get rid of that extra dead skin. Okay, and that's basically all I have to do for today. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly put on my peel off base coat. Okay, so I have my peel off base coat fully applied and this is what it's looking like. Now we're gonna go ahead and glue on those nail tips. So exciting news, I did go ahead and buy some new nail tips finally not gonna lie using those number threes and like trying to make it work with what i did have was just like so annoying if you haven't seen any of my last videos i've been basically like using a bigger tip and like cutting it down because i did want to waste like all of these good nail tips but to be honest it's just so annoying like it's so annoying so let me go ahead and just size these out really quickly so i have all of my nail tips sized out and i'm gonna go ahead and glue them on using some matte top coat Okay, so I have the tips fully applied and now I'm gonna go in with one more layer of matte top coat just to make sure everything is nice and locked in. Okay, so we're finally ready to go ahead and cut these down. To be honest, I really wanna keep them this long. I just love long nails and you guys know that, like you guys already know. But I think for today, I'm gonna be modest. I think for today, I'll probably go maybe here. Okay, yeah, that's not bad. So my nails are nice and cut down and i'm not gonna lie i'm not great at using a tip cutter so they're not straight like at all i'm just gonna go ahead and straighten them out using my 80 80 grit nail file
Okay, so I think this is a little bit better. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my cuticle nippers just to get that extra tip that's like hanging off of the nail. And I'm making sure to get that now because once I go in with the acrylic, you don't want it to like poke through the acrylic and then like you have these clear spots on the sides. So I wanna make sure that the tips are nice and blended in as best as possible before I move on to the application. Then I'm gonna go in with my file again, just to make sure everything is nice and flush. And while I'm doing this, I'm making sure that I'm only filing the tip and I'm not filing off the matte top coat. So my nails are nice and prepped, and now we are finally ready to move on to the application. Okay, so now that we're on to the application, I feel like it's a good time to go ahead and start answering some of those Q&A questions. Because there aren't so many, I feel like I can probably go ahead and get all of the questions answered while I'm doing the application. But before we go ahead and get into that, I do wanna go ahead and say that I won't be mentioning any names or anything like that, simply because I don't have the permission to do so. Besides that, I do wanna say thank you all so, so much for asking me these questions and let's go ahead and get into it. So this question reads, what is your favorite part of doing nails? If you had to pick, what are your favorite must-have nail supplies? Where do you see yourself in five years and will you still be doing nails? Favorite color and favorite top coat. Okay, so for the first question, what is your favorite part of doing nails? My favorite part is definitely, most definitely, the acrylic application. I find this step to be the most satisfying and the most relaxing part of the entire process, so that's definitely my favorite part. The next question is, if you had to pick, what are your favorite must-have nail supplies? I would say for that, definitely invest in pretty much all of the basics that you need to get started. So that includes all of the basic nail implements, such as a cuticle pusher or a cuticle nipper, some nail files, definitely some universal nail tips. And of course, you definitely can't go wrong with a nude, a white, and a clear acrylic or gel product and of course you can always throw in a primer and a hydrator in with that as well when it comes to gel polish and nail art definitely invest in a good base coat a good top coat a black and a white and all of the simple rainbow colors in between so all in all my must-have list is definitely just a list of the basics to get you started and to get you moving when it comes to nails okay so where do you see yourself in five years and will you still be doing nails absolutely i will still be doing Doing nails in the next five years i definitely hope to really make my mark here on youtube and to continue to grow and expand our community and with that being said hopefully crossed fingers hopefully in the next five years i will have a successful press on business because that's something that I'm like still kind of like trying to start, but I don't know. I think I'm just a little bit nervous. Okay, next up is my favorite color and my favorite color is definitely green and my second favorite is definitely brown. They're not colors that you would normally see on the channel because I kind of feel like I'm alone on my love for green and brown. I feel like a lot of people, you know, love brighter colors. So I don't really do it too much because I do like to mix it up a little bit. And lastly, what is my favorite top coat? My favorite top coat is definitely the Beatles top coat. One, it's super accessible. Two, it's inexpensive. And three, it works very well. Okay, so the next question reads, hey, how long have you been doing nails? Can we see your nail area? What made you get into what's going on in your community and petitioning? Okay, so the first question, how long have you been doing nails? I have been doing nails since the December of 2020, I believe. So this upcoming December will make three years since I started doing nails. So the next question is, can we see your nail area? And I'll be honest, I do not have a nail area or a nail room at all. It's definitely something that I don't have space for since I do live at home. But hopefully one of these days, I will have a nail room that I can go ahead and show you guys. But as of right now, unfortunately, I do not. All right, and the next question is, what made you get into what's going on in your community and petitioning so when it comes to what's like going on in my community i've always kind of been in the know because it's definitely something that i have experienced or i have seen other people experience that are close to me and like growing up in a single parent household as a black child and being a part of a lower income community and seeing all of the facets of life 
in those communities, it's extremely hard to not see what's going on and to not pay attention. And so I've always known from a very young age that there are definitely issues that need to be resolved within my community and of course outside of it. But I think what really got me into being vocal about the issues going on inside and outside of my community was definitely around 2016, 2017. And I'm not even gonna dive into that um, because uh, it's rough. And I think if you remember what it was like in 2016, 2017, then you definitely know why I would be vocal about issues in my community and of course outside of it. And of course, before I bring up any sensitive content, trigger warning, we are talking about sensitive topics, but I definitely felt like something was wrong and something needed to be done around Trump's presidency. And of course, that leads us into 2020 and, you know, COVID-19. And that was like really the catalyst or the start of my... I guess vocalness on like a serious level because like i said i've always known what's going on but i was young and i didn't really understand fully and i didn't really feel like i could do anything but once i was around 18 or 19 i definitely wanted to get into it and use my voice for the greater good and so hopefully that answers that question and hopefully it also inspires you to get out there and use your voice and not only stick up for your own community but stick up for others and use your voice your voice is so important and so hopefully you get out there you protest you petition you organize events because that is definitely going to create the change that you want to see but anyway enough of that okay and so to finally go ahead and wrap up the q a portion of this video the last question is on average how long does a set usually take you to do i would say on average it normally takes me anywhere between three and five hours depending on how fast i move and depending on the complexity of the nail set for some that may be super long and for some that may be a pretty good time but to be honest, I kind of just work at a pace that feels comfortable for me. I don't like to time myself too much, especially if I'm just doing a nail set on myself. But for example, if I'm doing a nail set on someone else, I definitely do like to speed it up a little bit and kind of get the job done so that they're not sitting there all day. But yeah, on average, I normally take about three to five hours. But with that being said, that does go ahead and wrap up the Q&A portion of this video. And I'm pretty much almost done with the application, so I'm just gonna go ahead and let you guys watch the rest of that. And we'll be back to shape and file these nails. Okay, so here's what my application is looking like. And now we are finally ready to go ahead and shape these up. And for that, I'm going in with my 8080 grit nail file as always. And I'm gonna start off by filing the undersides and the sidewalls of the nail first. In all honesty, it doesn't matter which order you do it first. I normally like to go underneath and on the sides first just because it's something that I'm used to. It really doesn't matter. It's just up to your personal preference.
Okay, and now I'm gonna go ahead and sew my cuticles using this carbide bit here. You don't have to use a carbide bit. Feel free to use whatever you feel comfortable with, but I actually really enjoy this. It gets the job done pretty well, and it's also very fast, so I don't have to spend too much time sealing my cuticles. And now I'm going to go ahead and with that seam nail file and completely smooth out the surface. Okay, so now that I have the tips nice and shaped up, I am just gonna touch up the ends a little bit and I'm basically just going to reinforce the shape. I am going for a more square look today, so I'm not doing any sort of like crescent shape or anything. Just gonna go with the simple straight across look. And now I'm gonna take, oh, that's kind of dusty. Now I'm gonna take this carbide bit again, just to reinforce that C curve shape a little bit. And I'm also gonna try and thin these out a little bit because as you can see, the edge is pretty thick and I want these to be more on the thin side. Here you can see the difference. This one looks a little bit more thin and curved whereas the middle finger is a little bit chunky and a little bit more flat.
Lastly, before we get onto the nail art, I'm just going to quickly buff my nails using this mini buffer. Okay, so my structure is 100% complete and I really do love how these are looking so far. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and wash my hands really quickly and once I come back, we will go ahead and jump straight into the nail art. Okay, so my hands are nice and washed and now we're ready to get into the nail art. Before we do, I wanted to address my structure a little bit. So as you can see, my structure is a little bit more thicker than I would normally do. And that's really just because I am gonna be wearing these for a few days or at least until I film again. So that way I can show you guys how I take these off. Normally I don't do them this thick um, because I just go ahead and pop them off anyway. And I feel like it'd be a waste of product to make these like super thick. But if you are doing nails to last, definitely go ahead and make sure that your structure is correct. So you wanna make sure that you have a really nice apex, something that is built to last. And yeah, so I just wanted to quickly address that in case you guys were wondering why my nails looked a little bit different. But besides that, let's go ahead and jump into the nail art. So before we go ahead and get into it, this nail set is inspired by Nails by Curls over on Instagram. And I know, I know there's aura in these nails and I do aura nails like every other video. So you guys are probably sick of me, but I thought these were really cute and really nice and like beginner friendly. And I haven't done something like that in a very long time. But I did just want to go ahead and mention that before we got into the nail art. And because this nail set is pretty simple and I've been talking for almost the entire video, I am just going to go ahead and be quiet and let you guys watch the rest and I'll come back towards the end.
Okay, so I just wanted to jump in really quickly and let you guys know what I'm thinking of doing. So I'm pretty much done with the aura and all that I have left to do is the chrome like little star and the gem in the middle. But I kind of want to add this like aura like gel and i don't know if this is actually going to work what i was thinking of doing is because this is so thick i will take a little bit of this and mix it in with some base coat and make like a pearlescent base coat if that makes sense actually let's go ahead and try that let's see if this is going to work but before i do that and i mess everything up what i'm going to do first is go in with another thin layer of top coat just to make sure that this is sealed in Okay, so first I'm gonna take this Aura like sticky like gel. I haven't used this, but it's like kind of flooding. Like, oh. Okay, let's see if I can take this off with my tweezers. Oh my goodness. This is super, 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 super thick. Is this a bad idea? maybe most likely but we're still gonna go ahead and try it so i think i'm just gonna take like a little bit with this little like cutter like looking thing i'm just gonna take a little bit like this oh my gosh i'm gonna put this onto my mixing plate and then i'm gonna go ahead and take some of this base coat and hopefully try and like thin this out a little bit and i'm gonna add like a good amount of base coat because this is like super thick so I'm just gonna take like a dotting tool or something just to like try and mix this in. Yeah, this is harder than I thought. Okay, so I think I have something and trust me, there's something on a plate. It's just very clear, but I think this is a pretty good consistency. But what I'm gonna do, because I don't feel like mixing anymore, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply a very thin layer of this and we're just gonna see if this actually looks nice. I'm gonna take a little bit on this brush and apply a little bit of this. Okay, so here's the thing you can't really see it. Unless you're like in a certain lighting, it doesn't really look like much. I don't mind too much. I think the slightest difference is really what I'm going for. It's not bad. I really wish that my lighting was better, but I think I might go ahead and cure this. But first I'm gonna go ahead and make sure to wipe down the sides because again, this is like really thick and I don't want it to like ruin my shape. So now I'm gonna go ahead and cure this for 60 seconds just to be safe.
so I did go ahead and do my thumbnail off camera and this is what the entire set is looking like. And now I'm just finishing up this set with some cuticle oil. And that completes today's set. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this one. I know this Q&A was definitely more on the shorter side, but I honestly really did enjoy it because it felt a little bit more chilled and relaxed than having a whole bunch of questions and being like super overwhelmed. And again, thank you guys so, so much for asking me some questions and just wanting to get to know me. And of course, for being here and for waiting for me to finally do this Q&A that I've been talking about for a few months now. But other than that, I would love to hear what you guys think of this nail set. I think that it was definitely very cute and simple and I just love aura nails so I think that's enough for me and if you guys have any set suggestions or just video suggestions in general please feel free to let me know in the comments down below. I am definitely excited to go ahead and get into summer nails finally but as always I want to say thank you guys so so much for tuning in today and I will see you guys in the next one.